Hey, what's happening people? It's Jason with Dad's That Cook. And what we're doing tonight is we're gonna make cream of mushroom soup. I'm doing it vegan style. It isn't any cream. There's almond milk. And I got a whole variety of some killer mushrooms. We've got some large oyster mushrooms, baby king oyster mushrooms, shiitakes, beach mushrooms. So it's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be great. And I can't wait to make it because it's super simple. And mushrooms are extremely healthy for you. All right, so I'm just gonna chop up and get my stuff sliced up and ready to go. All right, let's just mince up a couple of garlic cloves too. Just gonna go back and forth until we got it all into a nice little chop. Got your garlic, got your onion. Now let's work on some of these mushrooms, right? So here's the shiitakes. All we're gonna do is just slice them up. And you wanna dice them, you wanna get them real small, you can do that too, it depends on your texture, what you like. I'm gonna take off that little end here, which is a little dead, so just kinda of slice that little end off. It's a rough chop, because it doesn't really matter. You know, you're gonna put it in a soup. It's all gonna get smaller and shrink up on you anyway. All right, so I got everything kind of prepped up. I've got my mushrooms all ready to go. I got my onion, I got my garlic, and I got my other little things we gotta throw in there and measure it all up. We're gonna get our saucepan going. We want a medium high heat. Let's get our olive oil, a couple tablespoons. And we're gonna throw our onions in there. Stir that around a little bit. Get that oil working its magic. And let's get these mushrooms in there because the mushrooms need to go for about eight to 10 minutes. We're gonna stick them in together and let them do their thing. Stick those guys in there. You need about a pound of mushrooms. You can go more than a pound. Depends on how thick you want this soup to be. And what's cool is it's really healthy for you because it's made with almond milk. That's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. So we just wanna stir it around. Because you know mushrooms, they're kind of like spinach in a way where you put the spinach in, you're like, oh, I got a big old load of spinach. And then you come back and you got like that much. So let's just stir this up really good. So I'm just gonna let that kind of hang out and I'll come back, mix it a little bit and make it do its thing. So let's take a look. See, they've been on for a couple of minutes. You can see them, they're rendering down now and they're looking really, really good. We can do all the rest of the ingredients like the pepper, the salt, the garlic, the thyme and the vinegar. I threw it all into one little container. I was like, ah, just throw it all in there. I'll put it all together and then we'll stick it in. So let's throw this in here real quick. All right. And we'll mix that in. We'll let it do its magic for a little bit. Now let's get our cornstarch going. Four tablespoons of cornstarch. We want to mix this up really good and beat it. Beat it real good. We don't want any lumps. And that's that. We've got that ready to go. This is rendering down. Oh yeah, look at that. Mushrooms look good, it smells good. Again, you can use any kind of mushrooms to make this mushroom soup. Don't feel like you need to use something exciting or you know exotic or anything like that. Just mushrooms. So now let's throw this in here and that's gonna take three to four minutes. The almond milk. Okay, so the mushroom soup is going. We've got all of our ingredients in there. We just wanna get it to a boil now. So once it starts boiling, then we'll let it sit for three to four minutes. I know when I was a kid, I didn't want mushroom soup. I didn't like mushroom soup. I was like, oh, mushroom soup. Because I think mushroom soup to me was when I was a kid, it came out of the can and it looked like a big old gloppy thing. You can make your own. It's so much easier. It's so much better for you. Guarantee it's gonna taste a lot better than the stuff you got out of the can. All right, it's boiling. Let's go check it out. And look at how it's getting all thick and tasty looking. So we're gonna wanna let it sit for about three to four minutes now that it's been at its boil. Okay, and we'll just let it hang out. Look at that. Then we can let it hang out. Just let it relax. All right, I think it's ready to go. So let's make a little bowl and see if it's any good. All right, let's set it down over here. I asked my kid if he wanted some because he's been studying all day. He's been working and I don't know, I haven't heard from him yet. But I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna give it a whirl and see if it's ready. Wow. Okay, now, like I said earlier, I'm used to this soup that you get when you're a kid and it comes plopping out of a can. Holy moly. I think it's probably the most simplest dish I've ever made, but tastes so amazing. I will post this recipe. It's also listed down here in the video in the description. So if you go down below, you'll see the recipe and you can go to it and get it. It's real simple, real easy. But I appreciate you hanging out and thanks for following me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put your 
your uh, notifications on so you know what's going on. And we'll see you next time on Dad's Dad Cook. Hey, thanks for watching. You want to see more cool videos like this one on Dad's Dad Cook? Make sure you subscribe. You want to win some really cool stuff? Subscribe. You want to get notified? Make sure you know what's going on? Subscribe. <laughs>